Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Dogs are like super barky outside. One second, guys. I'm just gonna. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you have the breach to multiverse next turn? Yes, you do, matches. And we will see what they have, you know? The sink. I. There we go. And so I figured I would do a little bit of an inception kind of thing. Uh, I've got this camcorder recording this section as well as the actual camera up here. So uh, I figured I would uh, go whole hog. And I've got to work on... Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was gonna happen. My cam called it. my webcam just went. No, you don't. <clears throat> just stay up there, dark dude. Seriously, just stay up there. That's all I ask. Anyway, uh, yeah. this needle's stuck again. I gotta go through it. And oh gosh, yeah, this thing's really stuck this time. Grab a tool real quick. There we go. Oop. There we go. Oof, that one was really oh gosh. This is gross. Like what the hell? Right, so I'm I'm trying not to start every one of my um streams off with me cleaning my airbrushes but you know, for some reason I, I've got a specific airbrush cleaner that I use but it is not working at all anymore um, so let me go old school on this cleaner yeah. so this is white spirit or turpentine or whatever you want to call it hey, hey has many different names Bobby White no one light a match see turpentine will just obliterate anything on this needle but at the same time it also obliterates any lubrication not that there is any apparently even though I've been using um, Super 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 O ring, silicone based, so it should have lasted, but it hasn't. And I'm like, oh, the only thing I can I can think of is it's the heat. So let me just move the microphone a little bit more. There we go, so you can hear me a little bit more, and you can even see the microphone. Yeah. So it might have something to do with the heat, because uh, England has been going through a wee little bit of a heat wave, um, and so. What I might do, I'm a little bit in here, work the needle back in. Now I know for a fact I'm going to have to re lube, lubricate this uh, airbrush. I'm not allergic to white spirit, so that's lucky. In fact, I'm, I'm actually quite lucky. There's really not that many chemicals I'm allergic to. Um, so things like the uh, epoxy resin, not allergic to it. Um, things like um, uh, 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 mineral spirits, white spirits, this stuff, not allergic to it. Um, bleach, not allergic to it. Um, it's weird. It's like my body just is like me and... Um, so I do consider myself a bit lucky there and this is just regular tap water H2O okay so we're gonna throw it in there now the reason why we'll put in H2O in here is because we want to dilute what little uh, mineral spirits was going through okay so that's cleaned out Got the compressor rebuild. 
Now what I'm going to do is take apart this area, grab my lubricant, just use my finger and go around and then a bit more and then use an old brush. Uh, not that one. Uh, where are you? Brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. Uh, you'll do. Grab this old Citadel shade brush, not that I care about it. And then just use that to move the lubricant on the inside where the O-ring actually is. Because the um, mineral spirits will strip the rubber. And you do not want that. You do not want to strip that rubber because that rubber is what seals your airline. Alright, so we are getting ready to work on the Mando helmet. I do have one section of the gauntlet finished. So what I'm going to do is go grab it off the 3D printer real quick. I mean, literally, it just finished maybe about 45 minutes ago. I know I've got to filter out my rubbing alcohol. That's, that's old resin. But this... It is the first half of the gauntlet. And it's solid resin. It's a, I didn't hollow this. I did... Um, there we go. Everyone keeps telling me, you should get a magnetic, magnetic bed. No. Magnetic beds are good for small prints. But humans, oh gosh, camera fell again. But um, got to figure out a way of keeping that camera up there. So, I will do the smart thing and actually put on a pair of gloves. But before I do that, I'm going to wipe my hands because there's no point in putting fresh gloves over hands that are covered in resin. So, kind of pointless, wouldn't you think? Uh, actually, you know what? I think I've got an idea on how I can keep that uh, can, uh, um, webcam working on that uh, we're sticking to that so let me get some of this double sided foam peel off a wee bit we're all professional here I say I say Sorry about this guys, I'll probably edit this bit out. But I'll probably edit it out. <laughs> you know, we're all professionals here. Now, 
hopefully that will hold because blue tack won't cut me. All right, so uh, gloves. Gloves, where are you, Danny Glover? There you are. So these are latex free uh, neoprene gloves. All right, that was an old used one. So that one. Do I have to order new gloves? Yeah, I'm gonna have to order new gloves. I will add that to the shopping list. And now my Alexa's gone. Ooh, he needs something. Of course, now my Discord's going off while I'm in the middle of recording. thing giggity giggity oh. yes that was me relocating my dislocated thumb <laughs> it was like what but yes my my thumb on my left hand is missing some bone no I'm not even joking it's actually short by about half inch compared to my other thumb on my right hand so if you look see palms are together it's actually shorter. Uh, if you look, this can bend. This one can't. This thumb can't bend. Uh, reason being is uh, when I was younger, I was playing football, a uh, goalkeeper. Uh, especially if you're a kid with hands my size, a uh, goalkeeper is like obviously uh, the position that you end up getting 90% of the time. And um, even though I preferred midfield, uh, go figure. Uh, and so, long story short, um, or short story long, uh, I was playing a five-a-side game on asphalt, which to you guys is known as tarmac, or, or you know, well, you know what asphalt is. Uh, here in England, we do play football on asphalt, because, you know, we're harder than you, fight me. Um, and... Um, as I was playing, one of the opponents was wearing cleats like he's an idiot because he thought he was going to be playing on grass when he wasn't and uh, purposefully stepped on my hand because I saved the penalty kick that he took and uh, which won us the game and at the end of the match the um, rest of my team ran over to me to congratulate me he, I assumed he was coming over to congratulate me and uh, he stepped on my, my hand and I ended up going to the hospital and having asphalt and glass and yeah glass uh, pulled out of my wound because my wound was bad. Um, there were, it was a compound fracture. The bone was literally protruding from my skin, and um, yeah, my uh, <laughs> my when my parents found out, they were not happy. Uh, no, my parents did not go to the football match. Um, here, let me play the world's smallest fiddle for you. Not everyone's parents had the time to uh, go to their children's recitals and football matches and all that other fun silly shit. Um, besides, I um, never even told my parents I made the team. Because I stupidly had aspirations of being a footballer, of being a football player. Um, my... Uh, my nan wanted to, uh, my nan wanted me to be a priest, um, because <laughs> I was such a timid little flower as a kid. No joke, seriously, I was the most timidest one of my family members. Um, you could have, um, what's his name from Dumber and Dumber, you know, doing that ah, ah, noise next to my ear for, till people's ears would be bleeding, and I'd just be like, are you done? Okay, thank you. Seriously, I just didn't care. Um, now, I've got a bit of a problem here because these are quite... <sighs> I overdid it on the supports because, as you know, on the last build, which was the shin plate, 
um, it didn't Jesus Whew. I felt like there wasn't enough supports I kind of think I put too many supports in on this one uh, so yeah it's going to take me a while to get the supports off of this feckin thing Jesus I'm going to be picking up support sprues for the next fucking uh, week or so Jesus oh fucking hell Are you even trying, Dan? Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. You know what? Smarter, not harder. Where's my clippers? There they are. I don't like doing it to these clippers. I don't like doing it to these clippers. These are my brand new clippers. But some of these supports have got to be manipulated if you will like so so I can okay. we're going T-Rex on this thing I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes cleaning this thing up so, so expect me to speed this up even just cut it short and make it a half gauntlet like a recon yeah see in here I'm gonna add magnets so that the two halves just magnetically show to each other yeah I'm gonna have to do some sanding to get rid of these dimples bit of prime it bit of filling bit of priming yeah son Ugh. excuse me that is the bark of victory. Hell yeah. So now, unfortunately, I have remnant bits every feckin' where. And so, I've already broken one of my ever stands, which I'm not happy about. But uh, yeah, these. Everyone's like, oh, 3D printing's fun. You can you can save so much money. No, it, granted, yeah. On, on on the initial look at it, you're like, oh yeah, I can just buy an STL and then just 3D print as many Space Marines or Orcs or Eldar or whatever miniature I want here. Until you realise it takes a lot. Of both prep, cleanup. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot that goes on in 3D printing that nobody talks about. And I'm not exaggerating. So I've got some fresh IPA here. I'm just going to loosely. It's all right, I'm gonna refilter my IPA here in the next couple of days. Well, in the next, in fact, I'm gonna be doing it here in a couple of hours. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, I mean, I'll record it, but if you wanna see it, I'll upload it. 
on how to um, filter your IPA so you can reuse it. So instead of you buying a great big like medical grade drum of the stuff every time you need to uh, clean up a print I can show you how to reuse it so here it is um, it's all clean it's not tacky anymore which means that IPA in that container does need cleaning out but there is a lot of support studs if you don't know what those are those are those little dimples okay little dimples little like lizard skin which is kind of cool because if you think about it I'm actually going for like a um, space shark esque theme in fact what I might do is um, put a fiber optic in here and then run an LED a blinking LED so you get a little blink, 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 blink on the gauntlet so if I'm if I've got it and I'm you know because it's going to be magnetized, so it's going to go. The other half is going to get start the print for the other half today. Uh, so, like I said, I'm not painting this today at all. This is not getting painted at all, but it will go in tandem with the um, the gloves. So, what I could do is uh, now bear in mind, I'm going to go with the Velcro. I have decided to go with the Velcro tape instead um, because it just makes it a lot easier. That way, I can take the armor panels off carry them separately, put the armor panels on, and then, you know, throughout the day, if I need to, I can just take it off, take the glove off, eat, whatever, put the glove back on, put the armor panel back on, or, and I can also adjust the armor panels that way. Um, so say I want to adjust the armor panels to make the, um, so this is all they are, they're just, everyone keeps asking me about these gloves. They're just size 10, Marksman's gloves. That's it. Marksman's workman's gloves. That's it. It's what they are. It's what they are on the. Sh it's what they are on the show. Um, the only difference is, is that theirs are a different color gray. So like so, and then that goes on like so, and that's the start of my left arm on my Mando. Uh, I was gonna put like a knife in here. Very similar to what, um, what's his name from, from Bad Batch has. Uh, I won't call him Wolf, but I know that's not correct. Um, so yeah, I was going to go with that kind of thing. But uh, this is this is roughly the kind of grey it's going to be anyway. Um, because I'm going with a, uh, a Polynesian style Megalodon, uh, uh, well, Carcaradons. If you know what the Carcharodons are, the Carcharodons are a Space Marines chapter um, in Warhammer 40,000. And I'm going with a Carcharodon style look. See, this is why I decided to go with a, a, a half clamshell style system. Because I plan on putting Neodymium magnets on the inside. That way, these can just magnetically be held together. You know, um, I might add a little small inner Velcro strap on the inside too to hold, you know, to hold them together, just even to make them a little bit more tighter. But that's pretty much where we're at, guys. That's just the heart one half of it. The other half will be starting to print here soon, and uh, so yeah, I'm doing it bit by bit by bit. Um, I've got a different gauntlet design that I want to use on this arm though. Uh, I've got really skinny forearms. That's my problem is I've got really skinny forearms. Uh, good Upper biceps are fine. Shoulders are fine. Neck's fine. It's just my arms. It's down here. I just can't seem to get any gains on them. Um, so, yeah. But that's uh, a little update on what we're doing. So, I'll probably sand this here in a little bit. Um, clean it up just a little bit more. Um, and figure out where I want to put the uh, magnets because I'm going to epoxy resin the magnets in um, so that way when the magnets even get close to each other they're just going to they're just going to snap into place um, very similar from the same magnets that are in a uh, magnetic hard drive so these use neodymium magnets but these are flat round ones uh, uh, sorry um, half circle ones uh, 
but I plan on um, using modeling ones which means they're small much smaller uh, and so I plan on putting a few like like five or ten either side and then a velcro strip on the inside so it velcros to the flight suit as well so the bottom half clams on velcros on you know at the same time which means it can also be adjusted you know and also if I flex I know like if in my wrist things of that nature from holding my blaster or my knife um, I know that it's not gonna get away from me um, so yeah that's where we're at with the um, uh, start of the actual upper armor the leg armor I've got the foam parts these are foam sheets that I'm gonna be printing off the templates for for Django Fett's um, upper leg greaves and part of his chest upper chest section but the abdomen is going to be part from a different set of armor um, because very much like the Carcaradons, my character Von Carcrow, his Mando armor is made up of other suits of Mando armor. He's a scavenger. He is a Mandalorian, don't get me wrong, but he's an outcast. Which means all of his armor, and I mean all of his armor, have has been scavenged or think think how how um think how how Mando has armor was in, in the first season where it was all mismatched and different whatnot and the armor was doing her best for the best guy that she got and things like that very similar to that um so it's going to be like a makeshift of various other different um armors so this is why the gauntlets aren't going to be matching in other words i'm not going to have the whistling bird gauntlet no 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 no, no. i don't want that gauntlet um i actually want boba fett's um flamethrower gauntlet but instead of it having the flamethrower attachment, I'm actually going to retrofit it to have a uh, spring-loaded uh, uh, knife. Not a real knife, of course. But um, so that way I can just, you know, weapons are our religion. We are Mandalorians, after all. And so this is what I've got planned. Uh, I'm also going to be going over, see down there, as you can see, is on top of these, underneath these boxes is my paints. I am going to be making up some swatch colors, which means I'm going to be pre-mixing up some custom grays. Um, and once I've found the colors I like, I will go get them color matched and uh, have some a couple of pints made up. Uh, that way I can uh, run them through because uh, you can get uh, go to a, a paint and body shop automotive paint and body shop with the color that you want and they will color match it put it in a cork can for you and you know they can even add the, the, the hardener and whatnot in it for you see now this is another thing why I like uh, segment in armor well one if you've only got a, a smaller printer like I do I've got a six inch printer and I've got a 10 inch printer my 10 inch printer prints this my six inch printer prints the greeblies um, so if, if you if you remember on my Mando helmet there's this this is my rangefinder my six inch printer printed this okay um, came in two separate parts you know the antenna and whatnot came separately so that's what my six inch printer does it also does like these little universal armor greeblies um, these are hook points uh, they're they're from General Viz's helmet uh, so it's this one I actually have the whole of General Viz's armor at one point, I was thinking about doing like an imperial upper chest piece uh, for my Mando. So it was like an imperial commando, and, uh, and I thought, no, nah, that's that's not Krell. That's not that's not so uh, what uh, that's not what Von Car Krell would want or even do. Um, again, I am basing this off of my Mandalorian, who I have had for twenty plus years. Um, doing Christ knows what else in Star Wars West End Games is D6 um, my friend and gen my friend and my daughter's godfather I might add uh, uh, Phil he's been maintaining my character for me because he currently lives 
a bit of ways from me. He lives in Bedford, and uh, I'm nowhere near Bedford right now. Um, but uh, anyway, you always want to keep your, your tools taken care of. And uh, so, my goal is to get the pieces. Now, again, the reason why I segment the armor is because that way I can drill and tap and put pegs in them, which means I can do a peg system if need be, and in that way you can take some some uh, photo, some some resin, uh, uh, put it across the seams, uh, 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 hit it with the UV light, and then boom, it's sealed, and the pegs are just there for extra rigid support. Because if you use super glue, super glue, regardless of what its properties is, will eventually harden, crystallize, and become weak. Um, soil acrylate. Um, has had its formula changed several times over the years and because it's had its um, formulas changed over the years uh, soil acrylate has become weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker to the point where it come, it's got oh we've got this formula now and that formula now and this formula point is super glue is not technically true super glue anymore why are you still Wiggling. I've got to get a decent mount for this thing. Sorry about this, guys. Um, and so I do a small little peg and hole system. I will actually 3D print the pegs, drill holes, put the pegs in. Excuse me. Uh, drill the holes, put the pegs in. I feel better, actually. I've been really having really bad stomach troubles. And, um, and then I'll, I will add the other half to the gauntlet which should probably be damn near my entire arm it'll probably be right up to here now I'm, I'm debating on it if that's what I want or if I want a half gauntlet um, I'll probably go with full just for the looks this is my first arm it's not gonna be my last this is my first um, and someone asked me on discord do i do this for a living no i do not i do not make armor for a living i do not have a vacuum former i do not have access to the bucks or or uh, things of that nature i do this because it's a hobby i do this because it's fun i do this because my end goal is to go to some comic cons to some conventions to to some events and to even go to hospitals and cheer up sick kids and and various other things and and you know just have fun with it um because life's too short okay guys life is too short uh, i'm 44 years old okay and i'm telling you life's too short live it okay live it okay so please live it okay if you are so inclined to help support the channel please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button please hit the share button share the chat share it with your friends and most importantly if you really feel generous there is a paypal donation link down below all money I make on these videos goes right back into making the armor. It goes right back into buying resin, FEP sheets, uh, uh, STL files, you name it. And um, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, everyone keeps asking me, what about a Patreon? What about things like that? My channel's too small for a Patreon. Um, and I am getting in, back into the swing of uploading content every day. I'm fighting a head cold right now, guys. If I, my voice changes... It's because my ferroflu is wearing off. Um, it's a summer head cold. I hate these things. I get them all the time here in the UK. Um, and so, um, oh God, my nose is starting to run. And so, long story short, if you feel generous, if you want to help out, donation links down below. Any amount will be fine. Um, I do check the PayPal once a week. So, uh, what I'll be doing at the Coffee Time of Cobras, if anyone has donated, I will give you a shout out in the Coffee Time of Cobra video. So, look forward to seeing that. That will be coming tomorrow. That's Monday. So, uh, this video is going to be going uh, up now. Well, once I'm finished editing it, of course. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video with a stay safe, have fun, keep your blasters firing, keep your enemies dying. Von Carl Crow is out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.